Yeah, I'm fine because I, I I've got my I've got my everything in, in order. I got my routine. I got what I do. I don't really go out of my way. The other day, some friends of mine came from um, London, and um, I went down to the resort for three days. They paid for two, two nights for me and a day, so I was lovely. You know, it was a good, good little break from the town and everything. It was nice. They brought me some stuff. You know, so yeah, that's yeah, good. that that yeah. give you relief. Yeah. It let it let you feel um a relief from the stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a lot of friends. Yeah. So you you seen a lot of deportee guy down there? How they operate? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of guys down there. I see how they operate. I don't. The, all the guys that I that I associate with or talk with stuff. Everybody is doing something positive out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's doing something positive. Nobody's doing no bullshit. No right. Everybody and you guys encourage each other. You guys encourage each other to be good. We check up on each other. We meet up. We go have drinks and stuff like that. And eat, go have eat fish on the seaside and stuff like that. We talk, we talk about Canada, how, what we used to do and what, what we did this and what we did that. When we met up at the west and the dawn and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's been dreaming because... Um, Yeah. My friend shot me. Me and shot me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, uh, boy. so, um, so let me ask you something. All this happened to me in Canada. I, I never collected no criminal compensation for my hand, you know, because I could have if I had um, went to court against him and testified against him, but he ran away and I got deported. But I, he, they held on to him, so, you know. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Have you ever um, felt like you could have done better without being deported? Like, avoid being deported? Of course. Yes, because it got to the point where I had to make a change. You know? Yeah. Um, everything what was happening to me was on the down road spiral, and I knew I, I, could, I, I, I was going to leave Toronto. I was going to leave Toronto. That was number one. I was just going to leave my neighborhood, leave, just leave, and go somewhere and start, and start a fresh. That's what I wanted to do, but I didn't even fight the deportation. I could have got the immigration bail, and I didn't do that because I didn't want, after I finished my sentence and the amount of uh, remanded time that I did, I didn't want to um, stay in a more, no more time. To, uh, yeah, you just want to be free, like go to some, go back to your country and be I free. To be sure to be careful, I, did, I just wanted to come out of the case, so I just signed the paper and they just put me on the plane, you know? Without, yeah. without the contest, without a fight, without a say, do I, you know, well. Yes. Mom, you know, yeah, I know, I know lots of people like that because when you're inside, you just want to get out. And when once you're out, yeah. 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 you know, you yeah, just want to be I, free. I thought maybe Jamaica was going to be all right, but it wasn't. It was garbage compared to Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. at what age did you left Canada? Wow. So you did 20 years. Yeah. And now you're back. So you're back there like 20 years. Because you're 55 now, right? Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's, you'll be 30 years. You're there like 30 years, man. 30, yeah, 30 years, yeah. Man, it's time to come back home, brother. Yeah, so uh, you, you need you need to get your pardon going, and then you get your minister's consent, and maybe maybe you can get someone file for you. Yeah, I'm gonna be devastated with my mom passing away. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because so, once yeah. you get your pardon and your minister's consent, I think you can get a visa. No, I got one. Because then you'd be clear. Yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah, man. Nothing tried, nothing done. So 
have to try. And if it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm going to try. It will work, man, because Canada is a family-oriented country. They I keep know. family together. And you know the law the law work here. The Lord put you in jail, the law take you out. The law deport you and the law will accept you back here. So you just got to stay focused and know what you want. I know you're a mature man. You you were in the wrong code at the wrong time. Yeah. Yeah, my brother. So, whenever you need my help to guide you through the process, you know my number. Yeah. And you can give some other guys yeah. my number who want to call for some encouragement yeah. and motivation to keep their head up above the water until they reach back to Canada. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. I know a lot. So, don't worry. You're going to hear from, from a few of them. Yeah, sure. So, we can get this program up so we can educate people who don't go in the wrong way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm going to get them to call me, man. Get them to call me so we can rap. And motivate them so they can come back to their family. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. You take it easy then. So, yeah, my 15 minutes is up, but you're right on time, brother. Yeah. And, and stay safe down there, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, we'll talk again, brother. Anytime you can call this program, Jam Yard Man, yeah. Second Chance, for all those guys who've been deported. All right, brother. Okay, brother. We're going to talk again. All right. All right. Okay, my man. Be safe. Peace. Peace. Okay, people. That was an interview with my friend who got deported 30 years now. So I guess we'll be back with another program. Okay? I'm out.